another gorgeous day. I just can't get over how many beautiful days we've had this, this summer. I mean, we've had a few weeks, not in a row, of really hot weather. Hotter than last year, but then it would cool right off and it's just, and all of August has been absolutely fantastic. Quite the life I live. I never have to worry about anything. And to be honest, the only thing I have to worry about is federal taxes. Even my property tax isn't that bad. Federal tax is my worst thing. And, and you know, that's just a government thing. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. So I suppose I could just quit working and I wouldn't even have to pay taxes. And quite honestly, I'm that close to being able to just do that. Living self-sustaining. I mean, I, I, there's things I have to buy, obviously. If I want to drive anywhere, I got to have gas. So I got to have money for gas, insurance, truck maintenance. And I do YouTube videos, so I got I to gotta have self-service, you know, the internet hotspot. Yeah, that, I don't have any bills other than the tax bill. So life is really good. I've tried to disconnect as much as possible and have been pretty successful, Carolyn and I have. Other than the taxes, I can't disconnect from the taxes. There's, I guess, only two things you, you can't avoid in life, death and taxes. <laughs> the property tax, I've told you before, is like $25 a year. I could sell eggs to make that kind of money if I had to. I'm not going to lose the property, not going to lose my house, not going to lose my electric not going to lose my water so I've, I've got everything i need it's, it's pretty relaxing life it really is really relaxing and i can't seem to convince enough people to do this they i i, I read in the comment section now i get a few that will say i'm trying to do this and i really appreciate your help rob i really do but then i get those who say oh i'm, I'm just too old or i'm just not healthy enough i, I don't know what to say I mean, you, you assume that Carolyn and I were healthy and, and young. I mean, I guess I'm young. Carolyn's 60 years old. I know that's not old. I mean, don't get me wrong. But her back injury was serious. I mean, just serious. And instead of relying on the loser doctors of the world, we relied on ourselves to figure out how to fix her. She's not 100%, but I bet she's 80%. She is in really good health with her back. Uh, and we just went on a carnivorous diet. Now, I'm not trying to say that you need to go on a carnivorous diet. I suggest that might help you. And a lot of people in my comment section say it does help. But what I gather is there is just a lot of people who make excuses as why they can't do it instead of just doing it. Why would you want to live the rest of your life in complete misery and fear? That's the point of this video today. Fear. Because you say you can't do it. I got one commenter who said she's in poor health. I think it's a she. But she's going to try to get some chickens and she's going to try to do some things and and that's exactly what you do you try and then you go one step further and you try that next step i remember when we were preparing to become nomads we were going to travel around our pop-up camper oh i was terrified couldn't imagine actually leaving the security of your home the day we left i i looked back at that house and pop-up camper in tow <laughs> I was petrified, but I got past the fear and I did it and slowly got better mentally with mental health. And then we decided that that just wasn't going to work for us. We did it for a long time, but it just wasn't going to work for us. Too many bad things happened. So we settled on this. And I tell you, this is just, it's just the way to go. I'm not a big people person. So coming here and getting away from the people, Man, has made my life so much better. I'm not afraid of anything. SHTF, you know, we all hear about that, and I've been talking about that quite a bit. But I'm not scared of SHTF. People still try to annoy me in the comment section by calling me a prepper. Well, I don't care what you say. You are a prepper. I'm not a prepper. I'm not prepared for anything. It just so happens the lifestyle is conducive to what preppers want in life. They want this security blanket but they don't get it because they're busy stockpiling. They're constantly stockpiling, constantly preparing. I got to a point in my life where I got my four essentials out of the way. And now I don't have to worry about a thing. I got my food, my shelter, my water, and my defense. That's all taken care of. I don't have to worry about any of it now. Obviously, you gotta get debt free to do this. This is the key component to what Carolyn and I did. We got debt free 
And now any money we make pretty much goes into savings. It would be very easy for me to just stop working. We would have to get rid of the truck. That's about the only downside. Of course, in modern society, it's uh, more convenient to have a truck than it is horses. Probably easier to raise horses off grid than it is to have a truck. But all I see from people is just fear. And I have my doctor, I tell you, my, my doctor, my video YouTube guy, he was talking about how people are scared. He was at the store and of course he has lots of confidence. He's, he's pretty built, I mean, he's, he's strong. But it, he's went on this carnivorous diet, no steroids he says, works out you know a couple times a day or one time a day, whatever it is, I don't know what it is. And he's really healthy. So he walks through the parking lot in the store with lots of confidence. And I see myself doing that too, believe it or not, I do. Uh, it, it, he's the one that highlighted this confidence. I remember I used to walk with my head down, trying not to look anybody in the eye. I was just always uh, very insecure. But since I've taken on this property and since I've started the Canivers Diet, I don't know what my what mental state has changed in me. But now I see myself shoulders back, quite erect, head up, walking very confidently in life. I don't have this fear anymore that everything's beating me down. I've gotten rid of all the things that can beat me down. I watched a video from a YouTube prepper, you know, these stockpilers. I talk about living self-sustaining, but these stockpilers, oh, we got everything under control there. We're gonna, we're gonna stockpile and we gotta do it with some urgency. That's what the cop topic was today. You have to do it with urgency. And he was mentioning that beef, ground beef prices are gonna go up to $50 a pound. And you gotta, gotta hurry. This is, this is getting bad quick. I was right. Well, first of all, I don't know if he's right because beef prices aren't $50 a pound. As a matter of fact, from what I'm seeing, it's going down. Now, don't get me wrong, it could go back up. But you know what? I don't care. Now, he does. And I know why he is scared. I know why he is concerned. we got to hurry. It's because he has no idea how he's actually going to get through it. His only idea is, is i got to go out and buy more, buy more, buy more. i got to spend money. And he even criticized his viewers for complaining they don't have the money. I don't care if you don't have the money. You're gonna have to do it now. You're not gonna be able to do it a year from now. So he's trying to scare people. Because he's scared. It's the only way he knows how to cope with it is just to be scared. I mean, I think that's the whole thing about preppers. And I know there's gonna be commenters in the comment section, I'm not scared. I'm prepared. I'm preparing. I don't prepare for anything. The outside world can go right on by me and I wouldn't know. So I was trying to think, what is it that would stop us in our tracks? Me and Carolyn. And I just can't think of anything. You know, let's just say the house burned down. It's a $5,000 house that we built, a little tiny house. Now it's got our food in it. That would be kind of bad, but it's not a showstopper. It's not even worth mentioning. But the $5,000 house, Okay, what would we do? Well, we just live in our used camper. Either rebuild the house, which is what I would like to do, but my mental state about building anything again is kind of burned out on it. But I, even if I didn't want to build something, which is what I would want to do, we could go to Home Depot and buy one of those little sheds and fix up the inside. Another $5,000 and we'd have another house. And we'd be able to move in pretty quick. And if it happened in the wintertime, that'd be the worst part of it because honestly, it would be harder to heat. Carolyn said, well, maybe we get one of these little camping stoves, put it in that little camper and we could use it with wood heat. We've got all this deadfall out here in the woods that we could use. Probably what we would do. But I, we're just not scared. Okay, well, if it happens, it happens. And this guy was talking about SHTF could happen even if it's a personal SHTF. You lose your job. Well, if I lose my job, like I said, I'm at the point where I just do my job because it's something to do. I don't have to do it, so I don't have to do my job. So, okay, I lose my job. Well, bummer. Maybe I'll get some more chickens if we can sell some chicken eggs for a little extra revenues to get the gas in the truck and the insurance. Someone gets laid up, gets hurt in your house. Okay, I get hurt. The chickens are not hard to take care of. As a matter of fact, the little chickens now are pretty much taking care of themselves. Throwing a little food, they put themselves away. 
that that was a little bit of a chore trying to put them away each night but now they're putting themselves away i don't necessarily have to worry about that so if i got injured carolyn could easily take up my chores for a few days or however long it takes for me to heal and we've talked about this if something were to happen to me carolyn could pick right up i don't think there would be any issues for her there's no reason to be afraid that's what these preppers are they are afraid and they want you afraid they're afraid of the thing they can't control and they don't know what it is they can't control so they try to think of everything 50 dollar beef ground beef so what i'll eat my eggs what i would probably do is if meat prices went up so high i couldn't afford it anymore or didn't want to afford it i would just incubate some more chickens we'd extend out the chicken run get another ibc tank we could have i don't know 50 more chickens and it wouldn't be that big of a chore we'd be fine and we just eat eggs oh you can't eat eggs every day well that's the reason why everybody is scared is because they think they can't do things you can eat eggs they're quite healthy for you look if you're stockpiling because of 50 dollars ground beef prices you're not going to make it so that's why he's afraid he's afraid because he knows he has no solution to this problem. He wants to just yell and scream about it and tell everybody that he's got a price, he's got the solution. Go out and spend money. I don't care if you're broke, go out and spend money. Spend money, spend money, spend money now because it's gonna to be too late in the year. I'm telling you, you don't have to spend that much money. All the money he wants you to spend on stockpiling food. Here's what I find so interesting is these guys, you know, are meat eaters. They criticize vegetarians vegans they criticize vegans yet the only solution they have is to become vegans because he talks about his garden all the time well i got seeds and i'm going to grow a garden and uh, you know you're really going to have to work hard at this garden he's not going to survive because he can't become a vegan beans and rice is not going to sustain you for any length of time we see vegan doctors all the time now giving up veganism going back to meat meat cigarettes alcohol he, he's fooling himself and he knows he is he's lying to himself and he knows he's lying to himself he has no plan prepping isn't going to get him there so if you'll click that super thanks button down there i really appreciate it so i hope i can inspire you to not be afraid just solve your problems so you can live your dreams thanks for watching